A lot of us ADHDers and some autistics have brains that are sort of like car engines that get stuck in different gears. Each gear reflects a different level of dopamine, focus, mood, and executive function. Gear zero is where we're stalled. There's no dopamine, nothing is firing, we feel demotivated, shut down, flat. We're often anxious, depressed, and we might get stuck in negative spirals, perseverate on certain thoughts, and experience existential dread. We might think, I can't start, I don't care, nothing matters, what's the point? If we can move up to gear one, we'll be idling. We're bored, but agitated. We're restless, we can't focus, but we feel like we should be able to focus. Executive functioning is still offline. Mood is uneasy, and we might engage in scrolling, pacing, doomed thinking, or binge behaviors. We want to do something, but we can't make ourselves get started. Gear two is cruising. We start to engage, we have slight dopamine increases, we are mildly focused, somewhat productive, still distractible, but getting things done. Mood is often neutral to decent. I'm working, sort of, I could keep on going or get distracted at any moment. Gear three, on the other hand, is overdrive. We have full dopamine engagement, laser focus, we're feeling efficient, time disappears, we're productive, our mood is high, and we feel like ourselves. This often happens during hyperfocus, when we're hyperfixating on something or we're experiencing a creative burst. Don't talk to me, I'm in the zone. What often happens is we shift between these gears and often at a higher gear, we can shift down, downshift, and we'll leave flow often involuntarily because something has distracted us or because the dopamine reserves have been depleted or we're dysregulated once again, and our focus will evaporate, our motivation will crash, our mood might dip, and then executive functioning starts to slip. We feel like we're hitting a wall or we're going numb and we think, wait, where did all that focus and motivation go? I was doing so well. Understanding the gear system of our brains helps give us a language to recognize and track our state. It also encourages us to recognize the importance of self-compassion, that we're not lazy or defective. We're just in a different gear. It's a, not a bug. It is a feature of the neurodivergent brain to shift between these gears and often struggle to get to upshift to a higher gear and be more quote-unquote functional or have at least better executive functioning.